What's going on everybody, it's your boy Warmaster back again in another episode of European War 7 Developer Journal 2 Some thought about the core gameplays The core of the gameplay for our game is strategic war chess In addition to fighting between generals and soldiers, there are also strategic gameplays such as economy diplomacy We have previously added gameplays such as strategy cards, princess placement, etc which is a player and made the operation more complicated Therefore, at the beginning of European War 7 project, this generation of game was considering simplifying operations and increasing the playability of the deep value. value sorry. After reading Emperor Leo 7, The Vice, Tactica, and Maurice uh, Strachigon, we feel like this project should add gameplay to the combination of arms, different arm plays, different roles in the same formation. For example, when the shield infantry and cavalry are combined, the cavalry will make the whole army more impact when attacking, while the shield infantry will increase the defense of the force of the army when defending. The bonuses brought by such mixed arm are varied, and a single arm legion will be more prominent in some aspect. The generals can not only bring bonus to the army offensive and defensive value, but also add specific attribute bonuses to certain single arms. The combination of generals and soldiers will also become a very interesting. Normally, large-scale wars in ancient times were generally accompanied by a lot of large-scale military equipment, especially before the siege. So the defender would often need to stand firm and clear the field and prepare to the follow-up defense. In the beginning, we plan to design equipment and ships into such into one type of arms and combine them with other arms, such as infantry and cavalry to create different ways of gameplay. But in fact, generals in the medieval age, unlike those in the Napoleonic Wars, would be classified as specializing in artillery and navy. In medieval ages, there was no such detailed classification, so equipment and ships were not appropriate as a single unit, but more appropriate as an auxiliary means. Equipment will bring qualitative change from 0 to 1 to the legion, such as a number of people, siege, ignoring the defense of city wall, etc. Because the combination of soldiers and the carrying of equipment will be directly displayed in a battle screen in the form of legion, so this time we will change the form of walking from the small grid to the same way we did in World Conqueror 2. In this way, we can see the model of the various arm and equipment very clearly on the screen, and the scale this time is about twice the size of our previous game. So we can see a little bigger game than before, okay? Of course, there are many more details we would like to share with you, such as the actual number of soldiers will be used to fight instead of the blood volume. The morale will be increased in the of the Legion. The action power will be used to unify value, value of the attack and action and so on. The change is the battle gameplay. It is time of very huge and we are hoping to give our players a brand new game experience. So to summarize, uh, Easy Tech is now going to change the uh, experience of the game by giving you more of a detail into army and generals, uh, not exactly like the previous game. They're going to give you more of a realistic combat experience of soldiers, generals. Uh, they're going to give you more of a man unit rather than giving you a blood volume uh, similar to the previous game. However, this time is going to be different. This time is going to be a little more detailed, combatant, similar to Rome Total War, uh, those combatant. So we're going to see a little bit more into further of how this game is going to work. And uh, there are some image being shown right here, but I'm going to give you a little bit more image right there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.